Okay, folks, here's the breakdown to Seeker. Uh, basically, the song, there is a bit of a riff that you can do if you're not playing with a bass player um, and you just want to get the rhythm of the sound, or the, the rhythm of the song and the sound of it. You can just do this. Start with a D. You're going to hit a quick D. Then you're going to go to this C note here. And then you're going to hit the A. And you get this. Now, you can do that if you want. Uh, the guitar basically is doing nothing more than this. That sort of thing. And once in a while he goes... Or... Typical uh, Pete Townsend. He really liked to do those really uh, staccato, really quick type sounds. So... That's the beginning, so it's just A and then D suspended, and D. Now all that is, is it's a type of G, but I'm not playing a full G. All I'm doing for ease of, pur of purpose here is just hitting the um, D, the G, and the B open, and then hammering on a quick C. Now, if you're quick enough, you can go, but I think it sounds better with the hammer on. Then you do a C to a G. Okay. A lot of the who and a lot of what Pete Townsend is all about is a lot of rhythm, a lot of really intricate, quick little uh, stutter steps and, uh, and um, like I said, staccato type uh, strumming. He really likes that sort of stuff. So you really got to work your hand down here and just get the feel of the song. There really isn't too much to it. Um, basically, it's that for the verses. <laughs> Then it goes to D, and then that open G, C, now I think there he just lets the D ring the second time through, so it, and again, coming out of the D you can go, Uh, G and C again, and then C and G. Now for the bridge, he goes to a D, and what I like to do is kind of follow kind of what they're doing in the background. Now I don't know if they're playing a G and a D chord there um, because it's really hard to tell what he's doing there but it sounds to me like you could just get away by hitting the G open and then right after that hitting the um, D on the fourth fret and that'll give you your F sharp and that'll give you that type sound so you can go That's just a G and a D. That's my funky little D again. Or, if you're used to playing a D like that. So, then back to the D. Up to E. I'm not going to do too much with the solo there because, uh, to be honest with you, it's not that difficult and uh, it's kind of uh, a much cleaner sound than I've got here. So for now, I'm just going to leave the solo up to you. You can do whatever you want. Uh, obviously, uh, an A type, um, probably a minor pentatonic would work if you want to add some soloing to it. Have fun with it. And until next time, we'll see you down the road.